Welcome. In this PowerPoint 3D project, we'll show you how to make simple 3D donuts. Here's a very quick look at the entire process. Step 1. Start with references. Step 2. Draw the 2D shapes. Step 3. Convert the 2D shapes into 3D shapes. Step 4. Pose the 3D model to create your 3D scene. Let's get started. The first step is to look at references. This gives ideas for our design choices including shapes, proportions, colors, and variants. We'll use this sketch for our design reference. This image is for our color reference. Draw a 2D hollow circle for the donut's body. Next, we'll convert the 2D shape into a 3D shape. Rotate the hollow circle to view it from its side. Set the top bevel height to a temporary value like 100 points. Temporarily choose the angle bevel for the top bevel. Set the transparency to 50%. This is also temporary. Now manually increase the top bevel width until the peak converges to a point. Use this width value for the widths and heights for the top and bottom bevels. This method lets you create perfectly rounded bevels without having to calculate the 3D values. Set the top bevel to the round bevel type. Make the shape fully opaque again. Now set the fill color for the donut's body using the color from the reference picture. Change the material type to matte. Add a little 2D depth to create the middle part of the donut's body. Set its color according to the color reference. We recommend recentering the object using the distance from ground setting. Next, we'll add the donuts glazing. Simply duplicate the donuts body and realign the shapes. Clear the 3D depth. The glazing doesn't have a middle part. Raise the glazing a few points higher than the donut's body. Reduce the width and height of the bottom bevel. Set the glazing's fill color based on the reference. Select both shapes and group them together. Give the shapes names so that it's easy to find them later when we build our 3D scene. Our very simple 3D donut is done. Let's inspect the model.
Now we'll create a 3D scene using the donut. In this example, we'll create a very simple still life scene. Duplicate the donut by selecting it and dragging the mouse while holding down the control key. Add three more donuts. Add a rounded rectangle. This is the tray where we'll place the donuts on. Select everything in the scene by typing Ctrl A. Type Ctrl G to group all the shapes together. Choose the perspective, front 3D rotation preset. View the scene from the side. Lower the tray using the distance from ground setting. Add 3D depth to the tray. As promised, your very simple 3D donuts are done. Let's recap. We started with references to design our 3D model. We drew 2D shapes to make the donut's body and its glazing. We converted the 2D shapes into 3D shapes using the the 3D formatting settings as shown here. We used the eyedropper tool to fill the colors of the shapes based on our color references. We created a simple but fun 3D scene from our simple 3D donut model. Bonus tip. Create a plain donut by making the glaze fully transparent or by disabling its visibility in the selection pane. Another bonus tip. Change the fill colors to create other donut variants. Happy creating.